Pretty soon the serums and the shocks took its toll, and the dear lad began to share such secrets with me. It's true, Batsy, I know everything. And kinda like the kid who peeks at his Christmas presents. I must admit it was sadly anticlimactic. And behind all the stone and the batter rings, you're just a little boy in a play suit crying for mommy and daddy. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Oh, your old eyes do not deceive you, Boosie. Ah, oh, brave new world. It has such putters in it. You know, kids, a lot has changed while your old joke has been away. New Gotham, new rules. Even a new Batman. But now I'm tanned, I'm rested, and ready to give this old town a wedgie again. I have to know you're with me. Will you say it for me one time? You're out of your league, Guinness. I knew every trick the original Batman and Robin knew at their peak. You? What's to know you're a punk, a rake amateur? A costumed errand boy taking orders from a senile old man. Still, if it's a whooping you are wanting. Oh, don't give me the silent treatment, Bats. It's a long way to Gotham and these trips feel like the only quality time we have these days. Let's not waste it with silence. Weren't you going to ask me about the bomb? So this is just about spending time together. You don't need to say anything, Batsy. I know you need me, and I need you. It's all for every cut, every terrified cry in the dark. You keep me going, you're who I perform for. You're the reason I smile. I liked playing with your friend, though. I think I'll do it again. You're okay if I torment other people, right? Of course I'll wait until the baby is born. Children scream in a way that- Oh shit! He actually killed me! I did not see that coming! How hilarious! Harley, darling, look at you, such a big girl, plus playing a superhero. Lapping in the Batcave. But you hear it, don't you? The real you, buried underneath the floorboards, scratch, scratch, scratching to get you. The one who cut her friend's throats, and laugh about it. That's my girl. Calls himself the Riddler. He's rude. Harley's laptop, huh? I'm the first guy to resort to stealing from anyone anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But another way, maybe I will. Maybe I'll tell her, get in her good graces. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do just that. Then, she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. Oh, I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. <laughs> I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, waiting for something to start it. The present break. <laughs> something took hold of me. It was like I became someone else. Someone dark and vicious and desperate for survival. But someone you want around when your back's against the wall. You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy. Businessman. Criminal. Bat. Dun dun dun. Politicians usually pour me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot 
more interesting lately. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh well, you had a good run, right? Sounds like you need better friends. The slim pickings around here though, I've looked. Now this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your trunks. I'm gonna expose your corruption. That's what makes it so funny. All the people caught in the middle. They should be selling tickets to this. Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I've noticed. Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying. If tomorrow I tell the press that like a kingbinger will get shot or a truckload of soldiers will be blown up. Well, nobody panics because it's all a part of the plan. But when I say that one little old mayor will die, well then everyone just loses their minds. Don't try to talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like the leper. You see, their morals, they're a uh, code. It's a bad joke. Dropped the first sign of trouble. Not only as good as the world allows them to be, I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people. They'll eat each other. Blah, 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 blah. All that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. You're gonna be my friend. <sighs> you helped me by erasing my mind. Is that the kind of medicine you practice, Dr. Quinzel? I'm just gonna hurt you. Really. Really. Bad. I wouldn't want to ruin those perfect porcelain cap teeth. When the juice hits your brain. Ah, you. You little pain in the ass. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I am not someone who is loved. I'm an idea. Question. Would you die for me? That's too easy. Would you... Would you live for me? Careful.